Good day and welcome to this video in which we will solve a past paper question uh, about differentiation and uh, especially with regards to connected rates of change. Very typical exam question, so uh, before we start, as you know, the credit, I want to say, has to go to Cambridge because this is their question. And you check my website explainingmath.com. I have many more free uh, resources for you, including many about differentiation. Okay, what's going on? It says, a watermelon is assumed to be a sphere, yeah, spherical in shape, while it is growing. Its mass m and radius r are related by the formula, and then I give you this formula, m equals, uh, so the mass equals k times the radius cubed, where k is a constant. It is also assumed that the radius is increasing at a constant rate of 0.1 centimeters per day. Now. What does that mean? Yeah, that rate of change, the rate of change of the radius with regards to the time, so dr dt, and then t are the days, is 0 0.1. Yeah, that is what that sentence means, yeah, that the radius is increasing at a constant rate of 0 0.1 centimeters per day. dr dt equals 0 0.1. Moving on. On a particular day, the radius is 10 centimeters, okay, and the mass is 3.2 kilograms. Find the value of K and the rate at which the mass is increasing on this particular day. Okay, first of all, the value of K, because that is, um, yeah, slightly easier uh, than the second part. Uh, the radius, what is it, 10, the mass is 3.2, so you can say, so 3.2, equals k times the radius 10 to the power 3. Yeah, I'm substituting those values in the equation they give me to find k. So k will be 3.2 divided by 1000, yeah, 10 times 10 times 10, and that is, what is that, 0 0.0032. Fantastic. So that equation actually looks like m equals 0 0.0032 r to the power of 3, and yeah? we found the value of k. Okay, but that is the first part, then they say, okay, find the value of k, and the rate at which the mass is increasing on this day. So this is connected rates of change. They're asking how the mass is increasing on this day, so the rate of change of the mass. So the question is, what is dm dt yeah? with respect to the time? connected rates of change, we have to now connect two rates of change in order to find dm dt. Well, they give us dr dt yeah, for a reason. So I'm going to write down that dm dt is going to be dr dt times, and then I have to find another rate of change to times dr dt by to get dm dt. Now, as you can see, I already have dt in the denominator, so that's great. But I have a dr here, but no dr there. So that means I must have a dr here also in the denominator, because then after multiplying it, I can get rid of those common factors, so I do not have dr here. And what is missing here? Well, dm is missing. So in the numerator, that second fraction, has to, it has to say dm. So I'm connecting these two rates of change, because after multiplying these, I'll be left with dm dt, which is the question, yeah? How the mass is increasing with respect to the time. Okay, dr dt is 0 0.1, so let me write it down, 0 0.1 times dm dr. Well, I know that m equals 0 0.0032 r to the power 3, so let's find dm with respect to the radius, dr. Yeah? So we're going to find the derivative of that function, which is 3 times 0 0.0032, uh, that is 0 0.0096, r to the power 2. Yeah, so I find the derivative of this function dm dr, okay, and they say the radius is 10 centimeters, so I'm going to substitute that because the radius is 10 centimeters, 0 0.0096 times 100, uh, 10 squared, and that is 0 0.96. So dm dr, when the radius is 10 centimeters, is 0 0.96, okay? So I can put that inside this function now, 0 0.96. So dm dt is 0 0.1 times 0 0.96, which equals 0 0.96. 096.
There you go. I hope that was useful. That's your final answer. Check my website, explainingmaps.com. I have many more of these types of questions there for you. It's all for free. And please like and share if it was useful so I can help your friends too. Take care.